So today we're gonna to be talking about my three tips if you're trying to get into location audio. Each tip has their key point, but they're, they're broad, so, so bear with me. Tip number one, get experience. So it's really hard when you're starting out to get paid work because you don't have any credits and you don't have any experience. Um, so in, in my opinion, if you can work for free and get the experience and ask the questions that you need to ask, um, it will benefit you to find work in the future. If you wanna get into sound, maybe you have to PA for a little bit and just get on set to see how everything works. Um, start somewhere, basically. Um, a big part about getting the experience is learning the gear, learning how to do your job. And yeah, you could go to film school, you could learn all this, great. Even after that, or if you skip that part, you still have to have onset experience. So a big part with getting experience and learning the gear, learning the job is then networking, which is tip number two. The biggest part about networking is you'll get more work from the people you know in the industry. Um, so it kind of goes back to tip one, getting the experience, but then also you're meeting people, you're showing them you're a good worker, you're showing them you're a hard worker. Even if you PA for a little bit, um, you know, you'll be able to ask the sound mixer questions. You might be able to borrow their gear, learn the gear, at least figure out what kind of gear they own. You could do some research. There's a lot of options once you're getting the experience. Huge thing about having a network is you'll get more work because of the people you know. A lot of jobs that I get is because I'm recommended from somebody that knows me in the industry. A recommendation, in my opinion, is better than a degree in the film industry. So when getting hired, someone in that person's network told them that you were a good worker and that you could do the job. And so that's where your network will now collide with someone else's network to get you work. One other, this is, isn't a full tip, but this is part of networking and experience tips one and two is find a mentor. And this mentor can be in your network. They can teach you, um, they can show you the gear. Maybe they'll let you borrow their gear to learn. When I was starting out, I had a few mentors or people that taught me how to sound mix. Um, I actually went to school for audio engineering, recording music, but the film world was all new to me and the wireless aspect. So I had people that let me borrow their gear to record a short film or when I was boom mopping, they let me mix to learn how to use the mixer. Experience and networking are, are huge when you're starting out because it can make or break getting more work. Um, so sometimes starting out, you, you just, you gotta take those lower paying jobs or that free gig and just like really grind it out for that first year of freelance. Tip number three is to buy your own gear. Now, this isn't something I recommend doing right away because one, it's a big cost up front. And two, if you don't do steps one and two, you're not gonna have enough work to make it worth it. I would recommend renting someone's gear, like a mentor's gear, you know, going back, find those people in your network that you can rent from. And once you are getting enough work and you're comfortable, buy a kit. Even if it's, even if it's not everything, right? Start out with a mixer, two wireless, a boom, some time code, camera hops, whatever. Start minimal and so you get that kit rental. That's gonna help you make, one, make more money, and two, then you can keep investing in yourself. The more money you make from a kit rental, the more gear then you can buy. So after you buy that base kit, say you get a bigger job, well then you say, hey, I need to rent out two extra lobs. And then you go back to that mentor and you rent whatever you need. Um, and then slowly you build your kit, you get more gear, you write it all off on your taxes. Um, it's a great, great thing to do, invest in yourself. This is a tip within a tip. I don't recommend buying the cheapest gear that you can to start out with. Save up a little bit, buy that mid-range gear, something that's still industry standard that will get you professional sounding audio. Don't buy a Tascam unless you're just doing short films, right? If you want to improve, you have to buy a little bit better of gear to get that professional sound. And if you don't get that professional sound, they're not going to rehire you, right? So this kind of goes back into like experience network. You want good gear because otherwise, and, and when I say good gear, I'm not meaning the top 
top of the line to start out with. I'm just saying don't buy that bottom shit. Spend a little more money to get broadcast quality and then you'll you'll hopefully get more work out of it because they're seeing that you're getting professional sound. So to recap, tip one, get the experience, um, get your foot in the door, even if it's as a PA, just you know, learn how things are done on set and also just learn the gear um, and just figure out if this is right for you. Tip two, networking. Um, make sure you make friends with people on set and show them you're a good worker. Um, the bigger your network is, the more people will hire you back. You know, you learn a lot getting experience on set and you also learn a lot from other people. So that's why tip one and tip two are very important. Tip three is to buy your own gear eventually. And like I said, tip one and tip two come first. Learn the gear, learn what you want. Rent as long as it makes sense. I feel like renting does hurt you a little bit, but it also helps your network. You're going to make more money owning your own gear, but you're going to be doing this person a favor renting from them. So potentially if you're renting from somebody, they might give you work because they don't want to work. They just want to rent their gear, get the money, and they'll let you get the day rate. Um, but eventually definitely is in your best interest to buy your own gear. Take that tax right off. Invest in yourself. Cool, guys. Appreciate you watching.